Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. We are continuing with more productivity news uh, and as I said in one of my previous videos, I have chosen to uh, make separate videos about uh, this and also Two's chat which is already out because I think that they are such huge releases that uh, they should be covered in their own video instead of including them in like a productivity news uh, video. So that is what we are going to do. We are going to take a look at craft today and there are a couple of things. So we have all new whiteboards, smarter, faster search, uh, navigation improvements, email to craft and co collection enhancements. We will not go over everything um, like uh, very in depth, but uh, I wanted to go over uh, some of uh, the things uh, in depth and some of them like just touch on. I think this is a great uh, improvement for craft, so let's jump into the announcement first. So this is the announcement right here. Um, this is craft's uh, May major announcement. Uh, they are currently still running the Readwise uh, deal, so you can actually get uh, sixty percent of Readwise. Uh, sorry, sixty days of Readwise and Reader for free here, and uh, fifty percent discount uh, for life for Craft on all new Plus family team and business plans. I uh, or upgrades from any existing plan, even old Pro or business. Uh, so. Um, I am actually, uh, I actually have uh, one of these deals or already. I got it back when they uh, released Craft 3.0, and I definitely think it is worth it. So that is available until my um, May thirty uh, first. Uh, so let's go over some of the updates here. We have whiteboards. Um, whiteboards will graduate from beta into the v1 uh, they will be faster and better and even work offline which i find really uh, i find this really good uh, whether you're using it for travel planning which they're doing here mood boards or projects we think uh, the upgraded whiteboard will make your life easier so i will show you the uh, whiteboards uh, quickly here so let's go ahead and do backslash whiteboard insert whiteboard here um so this has been a feature that has been around for a while now and they will i think it says gradually uh it will graduate uh so um back to uh the whiteboards um i have uh my whiteboard right here you can add things to it like i've shown this this is just a basic whiteboard uh feature uh which a lot of people are familiar with. I can drag uh, arrows from one thing to another. I can create more of these. Uh, like basically just a whiteboarding uh, feature, which I know a lot of people have used. Um, you also have sketching abilities in here, which I really like. This will probably be much better if you uh, use an Apple, uh, if you use an Apple Pencil and the iPad instead of doing it like I am doing it here. But you can write, and there are a lot of things you can do here. I still don't think it is perfect, but uh, it is much better than the first time. I tested it out so it is good to see that it has improved a lot that is actually something uh, I am really happy with uh, as I also said in one of my earlier videos like I would like the ability to actually add my documents on top of here uh, so quickly being able to add my documents currently I can add images for example so I can press media I can do this thumbnail right here it takes a second and it uploads it uh, I can then uh, choose the pencil tool and just write on top of it or draw on top of it. So uh, this is a great feature. I love the fact that it works offline. Um, so that is the major one. That is probably the most important one and a feature many people have been looking forward to. But there are other cool features as well. Um, so... They have uh, improved their search uh, and the first steps will be introduced with the summer update as well. So th uh, they are working on providing a much better search experience. Uh, I think this is something a lot of 
um, a lot of productivity uh, tools forget that uh, they actually have terrible search or at least not good enough search. I don't think craft is the worst one, but I always like to see search improvements. Uh, collections are getting better. Uh, they will fix a number of issues to make the user experience even better. I even think like compared to back in December when it first released, I think these collections inside of Craft, which is uh, what I am using right here. Uh, I think they are uh, much, much better. So one thing I really like is the ability to go in here. Uh, actually, let's use this one because um, this doesn't apply anymore. I'm actually going to delete this, but let's jump into here. Uh, I can choose like the full document, uh, which also shows me everything that is in every uh where like everywhere else it uh shows me the section i can choose this page so uh i really like that feature if i just go back i can show you this again um uh it like it shows me everything in here it shows me the full document and uh this doesn't actually apply uh any longer so I can show it. Uh, anyways, back to uh, back to the announcement. There are other things like a new gallery view, which is perfect for the Readwise collection. I think that is uh, like here you can see the an example of it, and I think that looks really good. And it is something that you would expect. Um, navigation and settings overall. Uh, so here you can see that as well. Not something I care deeply about, but uh, small improvements I think are really important, uh, especially including them in small release or in big releases like this. And just keeping, uh, keep the app like getting better, keep improving the app is what I'm trying to say. Um, they, you also have uh, the settings, which I talked about with uh, stats and published content, and uh, you can change your interface a little, uh, you can change the icon as well. So that is the settings page. You also have email to craft, which is another thing I know a lot of people have been waiting for. This is an amazing uh, feature. Uh, that I am really excited about uh, sending emails uh, from your uh, email to directly into your note taking app is a feature I am a really big fan of and something many applications have. Uh, they are uh, working on more things. It looks like they're working on tags as well, which I know is another thing that people really uh, want uh, tags inside of craft instead of just having the folder structure uh, but that covers most of the like important updates in craft and i just wanted to end this off with talking about why i uh, really like uh, these updates because craft is turning more into i would call it um more of a personal note-taking app rather than a document app and all of these updates uh, drive uh, Craft in the right direction. I feel like they've done quite a good job at implementing the right features at the right speed for going from a documents app to a productivity tool. First, they came out with tasks and collections. Now they're improving the collections. Email to Craft is coming. Readwise is, uh, is already there. A lot of great features that uh, I am really, really happy with. I'm currently not using Craft as a main productivity tool. I use it to write a lot of blog posts, a lot of the things I write at work, just because I like um, I like how it looks. I like um, how beautiful it is, how good the writing experience is. And I often work from my Mac on the go. So I need uh, offline availability, which Craft has, so I can write in there, um, which my note-taking app actually does not have. Uh, I am playing around with different note-taking apps, but that is for another video. Uh, I use it a little for like social media ideas, uh, but that uh, like the social media ideas page you saw was mainly for YouTube videos uh, because I'm doing more uh, 
we're doing more tutorials on craft coming soon so stay tuned for that and if you haven't subscribed please do uh, and if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below i will try to get to them as soon as i can thank you so so much for uh watching today's video